This is question 8. Here we're told that the first four terms of an arithmetic sequence are 3, 10, 17 and 24. And we're asked to find in terms of n an expression for the nth term of this arithmetic sequence. So we're going to find the nth term here. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to look at how we're getting from one term to the next. So what I can see here is that I'm adding 7, adding 7 and add in 7. So what that tells me immediately is that the beginning part of my nth term is going to be 7n. Then what I need to do is I need to figure out what is going to come after my 7n. So am I going to have to adjust this at all or is it just going to be 7n? So if I think about this now, that's the first term of my sequence. This is the second, this is the third, and this is the fourth. Now what I'm saying by saying that this is 7n is that if I substitute 1 into 7n, will that give me the first number in my sequence? And the answer to that is no, it's going to give me 3. 7 multiplied by 1 gives me 3. If I look at the second term, 7 multiplied by 2 gives me 14. So that isn't correct either. What am I going to have to do to 7n to get to the numbers that are in my sequence. And hopefully what you can see here is that I'm going to have to subtract 4. Then I can just quickly check, does this now work? 7 multiplied by 1 gives me 7 minus 4 to give me the first term, which is 3. 7 multiplied by 2, 14, take away 4, gives me 10. 7 multiplied by 3 gives me 21, take away 4, 17. And so yes, this is correct. My final answer here for part A is going to be 7n minus 4. For part B, we're asked, is 150 a term of this sequence? You must explain how you get your answer. So I think the easiest way to do this is to say that if 150 is a term in the sequence, then that means I can multiply a number by 7 and take away 4, and it will give me 150. Um, simply because, what am I doing to get each term of my sequence? Well, I'm just substituting in uh, integers. I'm just substituting in whole numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4. So to get the fifth term, I'd do 7 times 5 minus 4. So what I can say then is that if I can substitute in a number into 7n minus 4, and it will equal 150, then that term, uh, then that term 150 must be in the sequence. So what I'm going to do here is just solve this equation. So to do this, I'm going to add 4 to both sides. So get rid of that negative 4 by adding 4. That gives me 7n is equal to 154. And then dividing through by 7. I can say that n will be equal to 154 divided by 7, which is going to give me um, 22. So what I can say is that because this has given me a whole number answer, then that means that uh, 150 is going to be the 22nd term in the sequence. So 150 is the 22nd term in the sequence. So my answer here is yes, 150 is the 22nd term in this sequence.